Hey, welcome to Tech Stocks and Beer, where we grab a cold one and talk investing. Um, today, we'd like to welcome you to the How to Start a Retirement Account series, where I'm going to walk you through the different steps on setting up a retirement account, which one you should set up, where you should set it up, and what to invest in once you actually get it set up. These are common questions many people have. I've talked to countless people who are like, yeah, love to start a retirement account outside my 401k at work, but I just don't know where to start. So if that's you, <clears throat> or if you have any questions about it, this series was made just for each and every one of you that is in this situation. First off, you know, don't take this as you know financial advice, uh, more like guidance. Uh, even though I'm a CPA and a CFA charter holder and know what I'm talking about, it's each individual situation is gonna have a bunch of nuances and I can't really comment on each individual situation. I don't know the time, it's not what I'm here for. This is just general guidance to get you started down the right path. And if you like it, hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel to see more. But if you like it, you know, it's a, it's a good starting step. But if you're unsure, just check out, um, you know, find a financial advisor, someone you trust and like, and ask them what they think you should do. So today we're gonna to talk about who is eligible for a uh, IRA or a Roth IRA. And that is just about everyone. What is earned income? It's money you earn from your job, from your self-employment, through, you know, I'm gonna look at the list, hang on. Salaries, wages, commissions, bonuses, self-employment, freelance, and contract work. And then you've also got other things like alimony, battle pay, accrued vacation pay. This isn't a comprehensive list, but those are just general things. It's money you've earned from work you have done. It's not um, work you've done this year, I guess I should say, because if you give royalties from something, that actually doesn't count as earned income. And other things that don't count as earned income are investment income, rental income, dividends, interest. Yeah, child support doesn't count either. You know, like I said, not a comprehensive list, but you know, this is a good place to get started. You have to have earned income. You can only put in as much money in your IRA as earned income or to a maximum of six thousand dollars. There's one exception to this, um, and that's if you're a married couple and one person in a relationship works, the other doesn't, you can put 6,000 into each spouse's account because once you're married, your team working together to build it up and you know the IRS respects that and wants you to be able to save for a family, as a family for both of you to retire and live at comfortable means. And you can also start one up for your children too if they have earned income through a job or if you have a business and you get them to do some work for you and you pay them, you can put it in there or if they get a job somewhere else, if they have an income, you can put the money in for them through a custodial IRA if you want. It's a tax trip trick that um, a lot of wealthier, better off families do to get their kids off on a good start. So like I said earlier, the most you can contribute each year is $6,000 into your IRA. Unless you're over 50, then you can put an extra 1000 for a total of 7000 into your IRA. It's a catch-up contribution to make sure that if you start a little late, you can have a comfortable retirement, or so they say. I don't know if that $1,000 can make that much of a difference. There's only 10 years of potential accruing of value, compounding that interest up. But, you know, they give it to you, so let's take it. And remember, it's only up to your earned total earned income. So i got a couple examples here. If you just made $4,500 in earned income in a year, that's all you can put in. It's simple as that. If you're a married couple and you're 30 and one person in the relationship makes $100,000, you can put 6,000 into that person's IRA and you put 6,000 into that person's IRA. But if that person only made 10,000 total, you can only put 10,000 total into IRAs. So that's the basics of whether or not you can invest in an IRA. Uh, this video is short and sweet to the point. Anyone with earned income can invest in an IRA up to the amount of earned income they made or $6,000 or if you're over 50, a total of $7,000 a year. And that should be enough to get you started to know if you're eligible for it. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have a 401k at your employer, you can invest in your 401k and your IRA in the same year at the same time. Doesn't matter, those two accounts have separate balances. 401k, $19,000 I believe is it. Put that and then you put another six thousand in your IRA for a total of twenty five thousand dollars into a tax deferred savings account right now it's a great deal i hope you all set up these accounts and start growing your wealth for the future cheers friend